Yes! Nailed it! Oh, I can't tell you how many different takes I had to do in order to get that kind of right, sort of, maybe. Hi, Teching 101, I'm everybody, and I got an announcement for you today. Something I'm very excited about. I've wanted to do this for a while. Uh, the idea's been thrown around for a long time, uh, ever since, you know, really I started getting big on YouTube. Well, big on YouTube is kind of a relative term here. Um, but uh, every now and then I get messages like, Hey, Teching, you should sell, like, merch. You should have, like, a t-shirt, you know, or something and I always kind of dismissed it like I have no idea how to deal with that I have no idea how to do that I don't have marketing sense whatsoever and they're like oh no it's real easy there's plenty of websites that like Teespring that you could use and I'm like ah maybe and so finally I decided you know what let's do it and uh, I had to come up with shirt designs to sell though and as much as I would love to have a design with me you know dressed as like a Shinigami chilling out with Ichigo or Rukia Okay, just Rukia, or if, uh, like, me dressed as, like, a, a pirate and hanging out with the straw hats. Like, those are the first things that came to my mind. I'm like, well, there's probably some, some copyright issues with that, a few trademarks. Like, I, I don't know, maybe there wouldn't be. I, I don't know how that would work, um, but I don't really want to risk it, you know, to open a store up. And, like, here's Teching 101 as part of the Straw Hat Pirates, and you have, like, Brooke, and I'm, like, hitting on Robin or whatever. And uh, then I get slapped with, like, a cease and desist order from freaking Shueisha or something. So... I had to come up with some original designs, and uh, these three designs could not have been possible without uh, the lovely Andy Pleiades, who uh, I, I commissioned this artwork from, and she did a great job, and uh, her links are below to her Twitter and to her DeviantArt page if you want to check out the stuff that she's capable of. Uh, so yeah, great artist, uh, thank you very much. She was also the one that drew all these other images of me, like the one with me just wear, like looking badass in front of the ocean, and then the devil fruit one, and then the one that has my uh, my wanted poster and then the freaky one that I'm like oh I shouldn't have you know th th there's context to this one you, you probably should know the context why I'm holding a, a bloody dagger in the woods finally I got like okay I, I'll, I know who to go to anyway so uh, the three designs right the first one is is the one that was the most obvious that came to my mind and that is well I am teching tech king so Let's go with a regal aesthetic. So this is the first design, just me chilling out. Oh, I'm, I'm chibis in all of these. I figured I had a better chance of selling them if I was a chibi, because chibis are adorable. Chibi me. So uh, just a regal teching hanging out in his throne with the little, I don't even know what that thing is called around my neck. I guess it's a cape, but it, it looks a little bit more fancier than a cape, so it's probably called something different. I got my scepter, you know, so so that was the first one that came to mind. Pretty basic. Okay, that's the first design. The next one, because we're going along with, like, well, if I'm a king, you know, there's a bunch of people that serve a king, like, for example, knights. Knights serve kings, and to that end, we then have the Tech Knight design, and it's kind of funny, because a while back, I think I held a... I, I vaguely remember this. I think I held a contest or something to determine what I would call my fan base, because for a while there, I was like really like, well, all these uh, big time YouTubers, they always have something that they call their fans, like a cute little term, like Chibi has the Chibits and stuff. And uh, I was like, I need to have one of those too. And so I think I asked you guys to send in your recommendations and uh, the Tech Knights won, because you're, you're knights and I'm the king. I'm like, okay, that, that works, that's cool. You're all knights and fancy armor and swords and shields and that looks badass, awesome. But I, I, I very rarely ever use it. <laughs> I Actually, I don't think I really ever use it. I probably have used the term Tech Knights to describe you probably less than a dozen times. But uh, if you want to show your support and be a Tech Knight, there you go. You could just buy the shirt. So there you go, the Tech Knight shirt. Looks pretty cool there. Um, and as for the last design, it's kind of a departure from the other ones. I wanted to do something that uh, I'm known for, something I kind of just invented one day. I didn't plan on this becoming a thing, but um, the, uh, the, the teching tumble. Does anyone know about the teching tumble? If you don't know about the teching tumble, I'll have to relay it to you, and it goes something like this. Tumble! 
Except this time I'm not really making the tumble too much. This time I fail miserably and fall flat on my chibi face, which is still very adorable. So you can check out that design as well, the teching tumble. Uh, those are the three that we have so far. We have uh, normal, uh, like a unisex t-shirt for uh, men and women. And there's also a uh, woman's t-shirt, which I was hesitant to even include that because going by my YouTube demographics, there's like 4% of my audience is women. So, but you know, I'm like, all right, we'll include that as well. And uh, some stickers, which is like this an add-on. Uh, all of the shirts are selling for $20. Sorry if that's a little bit too much, and please don't buy these if you don't, you know, you don't can't afford it. Um, the, the default was actually higher than that, so I, I lowered it a little bit, but uh, yeah, so all, all the t-shirts are $20. Uh, there's other stuff available on Teespring that you can have as well, like uh, like you can sell hoodies and long sleeve shirts and stuff like that. So for right now, I was just keeping it with the t-shirts. Um, if there's enough demand, like you should have hoodies or you should have like, you know, travel mugs or whatever. There's options for that on Teespring. It's a really cool website. So uh, I'll include that as it goes if there's enough demand for that as well. Um, so, yeah, link below to the Teespring store. You can go and check out uh, the designs. There's uh, different colors for each one, uh, so there, that, that's covered as well. Um, the stickers sell for 6 bucks. I don't know if I mentioned that. As for future designs, um, I mean, I was basically just fiddling with the concept of just, because, like, you know, there's different levels to, like, uh, you know, things that, like, people that would listen to a king, right? And for one of them, I was thinking of a court mage, so uh, the tech mage was one. One, and it was just going to be a chibi me dressed like a wizard with a wizard hat and a magic staff or something like casting a spell. So that was one idea I have thrown out. That the tech mage thing is probably going to happen at some point later down the line. But for right now, we got the three. Um, thanks to everybody for your continued support over the years. Uh, and I believe these do ship worldwide or very nearly worldwide. Teespring is a, a company that uh, handles all this stuff. They've been doing it for a while. It's a pretty popular company with t-shirts. So I believe they do worldwide shipping and all that. Um, shipping would probably vary depending on which country you're in, I, I guess. But, uh, hey, look, I'm sorry. This is the first time I'm doing this, all right? I'm sorry if I come off like I have no idea what I'm doing because I really kind of had no idea what I'm doing. Even setting up the storefront for Teespring was something that took longer than it probably should have. I'm new to this, all right? But I'm trying. So, uh, links below to that. Check it out below. Thanks, everybody, for watching uh, and your, for your continued support. Signing out. Just in time for Reverie, too. Checking.